Hey everyone, today I am going to show you what I do with the trigger point ball in my hips. Um, foam rolling is also really good in the hips and I think we'll record another video to do foam rolling in the hips, but this ball is great because it's really hard, so it's not going to collapse like a, a tennis ball. You may have seen me talk about it before. Um, so you can really use a lot of pressure and get like in the hips right around your hip capsule or your, your bone there, um, your greater trochanter. It, you can, there's a lot of tension. So sometimes it feels like with a foam roller you can't quite get really deep into the right spot. This will get right into that perfect spot that you need. It'll feel super awesome and it'll get super deep. So I don't know if you'll be able to see this super well because I have jeans on, but I'm gonna put it just right under my hip. Just make sure you're not on bone. It's not just, like if you are on bone, it's just not gonna feel great. Um, so just make sure um, you're on the muscle. And I like to start um, on the side where it's like right between your hip bone or um, pelvic. So this is actually your pelvis. The right, um, right between your pelvis and then your your actual like femur bone there. So right between there, there's a bunch of muscle that is a lot of times very tender on people. It's, and then it's the attachments of the glutes um, and you have your TFL in there as well. So if you find a spot, you can just like lean in. Um, you can kind of see I use this hand for support. And then when you find a good spot, you might feel it referring and referrals from this area will probably wrap around your hip, might go into your back, down your leg, that's all common. And another thing with the hips is a lot of times the, um, the tension or the pain and the tenderness in here is super sharp. That's normal too. If you can't handle it, just come off of it a little bit using your elbow on this side, um, or you can just lower yourself to go in deeper. And then I'm going to show you, you might not be able to see the ball, but I'm going to show you what I do once that feels like it's released, you just like roll backwards. And now I'm right on top of my hip joint and just kind of working around the ball of that hip. And then just find different spots in your hip as you go. So you can use your legs and your body to kind of do that and just want to help try and make um, your lower body and your hips especially relax. This feels really good with pregnancy because I'll, of course with the, um, pregnancy my hips and everything are changing so much so it feels really great to get in there. So that works really good, like I was saying, kind of between your hips and your pelvis joint there. Um, and you can try to go all the way around. Just use your legs for control and support as well as your arms and elbows. Um, I hope that helps. That's a really good self-care tip for at home working on your own hip pain.